Ayeni Hersha Pesha Walrep. Welcome to the homeland of the Ramatush people. And that's also something that hasn't been said in a very long time. And I'm happy to be able to say that today in a place that is part of us now. Over thousands of years, we developed this intimate relationship with the land and it with us. It gave birth to us, in a, in a very, certainly in a spiritual, cultural sense, in a physical sense too. We don't believe it culturally and spiritually that we control anything. We work in conjunction with everything. We're relative to everything. We are relatives with everything. And we need to be, build good relationships with our relatives and let us work together. How indigenous peoples have adapted to their bioregion, to their territory, to their place-based knowledge, how they've adapted and continue to adapt and have shown through resilience that indigenous cultures have elements of survival and thrivance and, and, and ways of understanding how we navigate the natural world. When people lean to what I say or what I share, I remind them that I didn't get a blast of energy or information like, ah, now I know all this information. No, we did the work. We learned and connected and we were humble in navigating learning more to honor truth and history. And it has been a very painful journey to honor truth and history, to be in the position of saying, why are things the way they are? We have to go through this process that you know, our ancestors probably didn't, except maybe at the very beginning when they came into the world, of reattuning themselves and developing that initial relationship with the world that they were brought into. And we have to do something very similar, um, that rebuild that knowledge, rebuild that relationship. And from that knowledge, everything that we have will come back, we believe.